Hello everyone, my name is Jimmy Wilborn, and today I have the privilege of sharing with my level one field work with you. Before I tell you where I went, just going on your level one field work experience is a truly amazing experience in itself because what you're doing is you're applying the stuff you learned in school to an actual occupational therapy setting. That can be nerve wracking, uh, you have anticipation just getting to the site and the unknown and the uncertainty, but most of all it's just a ball of excitement. So I was able to go to Nassau in the Bahamas and work at a hospital setting and I got to see a variety of clients. These clients range from pediatric all the way to geriatric. So I would say I got the entire lifespan which gave me good exposure. Uh, we got to see everything from musculoskeletal to uh, common injuries at the job place to even cancer patients. So I was able to see inpatient and outpatient and we, I got to see the different varieties of occupational therapy care because in both settings you approach a client in a different manner. The key to traveling abroad is culture. We can read culture in a book all day, but that doesn't mean that we understand what culturally competent means. And as an occupational therapist, if you can't relate to your client, then you can't get the job done. And our job is to focus on the client and help them with what matters to them. So being able to expose myself into the Bohemian culture was wonderful. Not only working with people from a variety of backgrounds, but also working with patients. Because we found out that a lot of patients actually came from other areas. They weren't just locals, they were coming from other islands and they were coming from out of state, out of country. Uh, so that in and of itself was what gave me a more fundamental background of knowledge as an occupational therapy student. And being that it was only my level one experience, uh, I was more on the ground level. I was applying what I just learned in school to an actual setting and I was able to see how it actually relates to a client. Because once you read the information without application, you won't be successful as an occupational therapist. Uh, if you're thinking about staying in the States, I highly discourage it if you have the opportunity to go abroad. Because by going abroad, you're actually expanding your OT toolbox. And what you want to have is the most tools you can in your kit so that you're able to help a variety of different clients. So being in the Bahamas, you're actually stepping into a, diff a different cultural background. And you need to be aware when you go to another country of what their customs are because you want to be respectful uh, to the patients because what you may think is appropriate care might not be appropriate care for them. So by understanding uh, how you approach them with your common uh, gestures and greetings is important. So by being there, I was able to recognize that and I had to accommodate uh, to their culture. Very, very fun-loving people. They wanted to know why I was there in the first place. They wanted to help share the beautiful things on their island with me. Every time I was in there and, and working with them, they were suggesting things I should try, like conch salad or going out and exploring uh, Junkanoo, which is a local festival they have during the summer, uh, at least every, every weekend through July and in Christmas. So they were making sure that I was not only enjoying myself as working in the setting, but that I was also enjoying their culture. And they, they wanted to share it with me. They were open to sharing with me. And what you find is once you expose yourself to other cultures, you realize that you, you come to, to love uh, all these cultures in, in their own unique way. So do I, do I recommend you going abroad? Yes, I do. You should go abroad because it's going to expand your OT toolbox. Thank you. Thank you.